Hello and welcome to this week's segment for Trending for Success. I'm Nikki Haley, the Director of Marketing and Social Media at TAM Lending Center in Cherry Hill. And today we're going to talk about Tinder marketing. This one I find interesting. Okay, so what I didn't know was that Tinder was actually more of a you know social media network these days versus just a dating site. I never signed up for Tinder or anything like that because I was like, oh, I'm taken. There's no need for me to be on this type of website. But of course, I'm a digital marketing expert first. So my job is to research and find all the tips for you guys to help you market your products no matter what the platform is. So. About a week or two ago, I signed up for Tinder. I was like, let me make an account real quick and just kind of browse through and see how this thing works with the ads and everything. Um, there's some interesting stuff on there. And uh, you might come across a few things that you're like, oh my. However, what I did find on there that was really interesting were the ads. Basically, as you're swiping left or right, depending on whether you like what you see or you don't like what you see or if you want to connect with someone or not, in between you find these nice little clean ads that just give you a nice graphic talking about whatever the product is and then of course it has a nice little learn more button where you could click that link and it opens up to the website and you could get more information another way that i found that larger companies are actually marketing on tinder is some of them are actually setting up profiles whether it's an actress from a particular tv show or a movie you know they're setting up profiles and they have these bots that like chat with people and people kind of get caught up a little bit and think that they're actually talking to a person now me personally as a digital marketer I would probably stay away from that version because you don't want to annoy your users. You want to engage them, of course. But at the same time, you don't want them to get frustrated when they find out that they're not actually speaking to a real person. So for me, I would stick to those basic learn more visual text ads where people can just like click and get more information. The cool thing about Tinder that most people wouldn't consider it for is that there's 50 million people that are utilizing Tinder every single day. Now some of them are paid accounts where you can hide the advertisements, but a lot of them aren't paid accounts. And the ones that aren't paid accounts are the ones that you can market directly to. And believe it or not, when I was looking through the ads, I saw real estate ads there. I saw different product ads. Uh, Domino's Pizza actually utilized Tinder really well around Valentine's Day last year when they were promoting a heart-shaped pizza and they had a cute little slogan on there to get people to order Domino's for Valentine's Day. So my point in saying all of this to you is, even though Tinder is supposed to be a dating website, so to speak, it is a social media website and some people do connect on there and some people connect as friends some people actually connect on a romantic level but you as a real estate agent you as a loan originator you have the opportunity to get your content out in front of those people because remember even if they are dating and they're not married yet and they're kind of just coming to that point in their life eventually they're gonna need a home and they're gonna need some advice, some expert tips from someone like you who's a seasoned loan originator or a seasoned real estate agent in your area. So don't be afraid to go on Tinder, check it out, just see what you could do there and don't be afraid to place your ads there. It's really easy to do. Like I said, nice clean graphic, quick little blurb about whatever it is you're selling, whether it's a home listing, whether it's an actual mortgage product, and then a learn more button that takes them right back to your website. Like I said, every week I'm here to give you guys tips that are going on in the social media industry. Next week I have a really good update on Facebook for you guys that I want to make you aware of for an advertising opportunity that hasn't really been fully publicized just yet. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for tuning in for Trending for Success and I'll see you all next week.